Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss paragraph two on the schedule A, the home inspection and what not to do, or at least what I prefer you not to do so you don't run into all kinds of problems at the closing date. So paragraph two on our schedule A, which is a fix the purchase and sale agreement, basically says that the purchaser has the right within a certain period of time to have the home inspected. Now that home inspection would typically be a actual home inspector, but in some cases it could be a friend, a cousin, the father of a young first time home buyers, uh, could be anybody. So essentially what the home inspection clause does is it allows the purchaser to do their due diligence. So they're given time to have somebody, or maybe it could be a multitude of people. Maybe they call it a home inspector, electrician, a plumber, and a basement guy, roofing guy, lawn guy. So they inspect the house. After the inspection, they basically have two options, although TV would make you believe there's a third, and it's quite commonly done. Option number one is everything is great. Remove the clause, solidify the deal. We've got one less clause to deal with. Number two is we walk away from the deal. Let's say the foundation was collapsing, the roof was caving in, the plumbing is Kitech, and the basement's filled with flammable uh, styrofoam. So we walk away from the deal. What I ran into today, and I have run into before, is where the purchaser will look at the home inspection as a tool to either renegotiate or provide the vendors a list of things to fix. So in this particular case, there are six or seven items. And in my opinion, they're very nitpicky, small little items, which really wouldn't cost a lot. My vendor is talking about doing these fixes on the house, but the concern is she's worried that come closing time, those fixes aren't done up to par. This is the point of this video. If you have a purchaser asking for a bunch of stuff to be done, let's say, you know, maybe replace a carpet, paint the cabinets blue, uh, fix a, a hole in the floor, replace a hinge, install smoke detectors. The challenge you run into is when they do their pre-closing inspection, that would be the second paragraph, actually the last paragraph in page one of the purchase and sale, they have the option to, at that point, walk away from the deal if the house is not in the condition it was when they viewed it first. The problem is now you're intertwining a bunch of fixes. So if these fixes aren't done to the purchaser's expectation, in theory, they could walk. In theory, they could also get sued and they could lose their deposit. A better way to handle this would probably be one of two things. If you know they really want the house, just say no. We're not doing anything. Number two is just provide a cash discount on the purchase price. So let's assume these things are gonna cost you $700, just discount the price by $700. That way you don't have to worry about putting yourself into a potential uh, litigious or liable position, if that makes sense. So you're not doing a whole bunch of stuff and then the deal doesn't go together because the blue is the wrong shade, the fix of the floor isn't good, the smoke detectors are the wrong color. So we just eliminate all that, we'll reduce the price 700 bucks, purchasers can do the fixes and move on, keep the deal nice and solid. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you have any questions about PEI, PEI real estate or real estate in general, put them in the comments below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and press the little bell symbol beside it. Thank you.